Hi, welcome back to Eddie's Kitchen. Today, I will show you how to make a delicious steamed egg side that is common in Korean saunas. It is jjimjilbang geran in Korean. Recently, a company called Bestech sent me an electric pressure cooker to try out. So in this video, I will use the pressure cooker to cook my eggs and share my honest review about the product. Here is the pressure cooker. When I opened the box, I saw a manual, a recipe book, and a quick instruction paper. Now I will unbox the pressure cooker. Uh, it is not that heavy, which I like. It is locked now, and you can easily open the lid like this. Inside there is a steamer tray and inside of a plastic package we have rice ladle, soup ladle, measuring cup, and power cord. This is the inner pot. I like it because it's very light and the bottom is white and flat. In the front, there are 8 buttons for changing the settings. It also comes with other functional buttons, though it doesn't seem that complicated to use. So that's the unboxing. Now, let's see how well it makes the steamed eggs. Obtain a dozen of large brown eggs. If you cook the cool eggs straight from the refrigerator, the eggs can break. To prevent that, I recommend leaving the eggs at room temperature for an hour before cooking. Add 1 cup of water and 1 teaspoon of salt in a bowl. Mix it until the salt dissolves. This salt water will give some flavor to the egg later. After an hour, mix 4 cups of water and quarter cup of vinegar. Clean the eggs in vinegar water to kind of sanitize them. Since we cook the eggs in their shells for a long time, it will be nice to clean any dirty stuff off of the shells. Rinse the eggs in clean water one more time. The eggs are clean and ready to be cooked now. I already washed and dried my inner pot. Put the inner pot into the pressure cooker and place the eggs in it. Pour the salt water over the eggs and close the lid. Turn the pressure release valve to the sealed position by lining up the arrows before cooking. Then turn on the pressure cooker. Since I want to cook my eggs for a long time to get nice brown color and good flavor, I will use the preset time function. Then I will set the time for 2 hours and select the multi-grain button. The directions for using your pressure cooker may vary. After 2 hours, release the pressure. and then open it carefully. The smell and the look of the eggs are great. Since it absorbed some of the salt from the water, it has a pleasant amount of saltiness in the egg. The eggs came out the way I wanted, so this experiment had a positive outcome. However, I wanted to try something more before I recommend it with confidence. So I made my normal daily right rice with it. It was a little tricky getting the right amount of water at first, but soon I figured out how to do it and I could make delicious sticky rice in 30 minutes. I also made my husband's family's secret homemade spaghetti sauce and it was a big hit. 
The consistency was just right and the flavor was great. If people want to see it, I can make a separate video to show how to make delicious homemade spaghetti sauce with an electric pressure cooker. For my last tryout, I made chicken broth with it. I simply added all the ingredients in the pressure cooker and cooked for an hour. It resulted in a very flavorful chicken broth that I used for chicken pot pie the next day. I can picture that really tasty galbitang, which is Korean beef rib soup, can be made with this electric pressure cooker. In conclusion, I recommend this product. Special thanks to go to Best Tech for giving me an opportunity to try their product. If you like this video and want more of this kind of product review videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye.